Welcome everybody, welcome to my channel, Mighty Sawdust. I'm your host, Darius. Hopefully you've been enjoying the journey so far. Uh, today is paint day. But as you kind of see, there's actually paint on the walls. So, what does that mean? Well, that means uh, <laughs> doing this little quick intro and a uh, little fair warning. Uh, some footage has been lost, unfortunately. There would It would have been gold bloopers but unfortunately I'm still trying to work on trying to get the uh, files recovered but uh, as of right now it doesn't seem like it so uh, bear with me and I uh, hope you enjoy the next installment. So today was supposed to be paint day but as you can kind of see, there's already paint on the wall. So here's what basically happened. Obviously right now, there would have been a cut to the video, but there is no video, so just bear with me. Basically, recap on the paint. I chose white. Uh, based on the square footage, I would have, it says I would have needed basically four gallons, and I decided that I was gonna go with basically a five gallon bucket. And as we know, and she, Paint is going to cost in a five gallon bucket minimum 100 bucks to almost probably 200 dollars from last I kind of checked. Unless if you luck out, go to like a Benjamin Moore Sherman Williams store and there's a you know contractor there and you have your wife having to be shopping for the actual paint, gets hooked up with their corporate discount and it's a little bit cheaper. But it doesn't happen to everybody or all the time. We lucked out, it happened to us twice on two different things. So there's hope. Um, but I ended up going a different route. I've heard of about a company that popped up because I've seen promotions that they were doing and I was like, oh, that's, that's pretty good for price and everything else. And before I wasn't really in the market for paint, I didn't have any projects going on. But this time I do. So I looked them up again and they are pretty much local here. Uh, they're located in Wooddale, Illinois. They're called Earth Paint. You can check them out at earthpaint.org. Uh, not sponsoring anything. I'm just giving them a shout out because that's basically what I ended up using. And you know, check them out. It's a great organization. So they basically recycle the paint, so you can bring whatever you have left over to them. There's a little fee, and that fee is basically to pay their employees, um, and they employ anybody. Uh, they have employees that have disabilities and everything else so that's a great thing that they're getting them jobs to help with the process of uh, basically recycling the paint. And you can basically purchase a paint from them once it's processed of course. So they do have colors. Uh, they do color match. They do, do stains. Uh, you just basically you know, they give them a heads up and give them a couple days of turnaround to try and get that stain color mixed for you and they do bigger batches of paint so if you run out there's potentially a second, you know, second bucket for it. Um, white is in, at a premium because uh, obviously you would use the white to as a base to mix colors. They do color match like I said um, and the prices are great. Uh, that said, instead of paying over $100 in paint, they basically uh, gave me a little bit of discount Get some paint, so I ended up getting two buckets. So four four gallons total cost me basically forty dollars. So ten dollars a gallon can't beat that because you're gonna go Home Depot loads it. You're looking at probably about thirty dollars uh, a gallon of paint. So that worked out in my favor, and you know I helped them out by you know supplying them some, with some income to pay their employees and saving the planet from paint being trashed and going in landfills. So, uh, the paint is pretty much a uh, Benjamin Moore, Sherman William kind of quality, and it went on nice in one coat. Uh, the, instead of using paint brushes and rollers, I ended up using the airless paint brush or paint uh, sprayer that I have. I used it on the deck, and it was a, it's a pretty big deck, so it. Uh, managed to find. Uh, I did some research and the key is basically is buying those uh, like a strainer that's available 
for five gallon buckets, there's one for gallons, and I believe there's even ones for like the quarts to basically pour it through, and then it kind of keeps the thicker portions of the paint out, and you get the smoother, finer paint to use it on the air that sprayer. And the one I use is the Greco Truco. There's uh, two versions of this. This one, well, actually, I could say three. Uh, there's a project series, and there was like a DIY kit or something, whatever it was called. It was like a yellowish colored packaging. This one was, I think, two sixty nine when I got it back in like March, and I believe they were on sale. The other version was two fifty. Um, I think the biggest difference that I remember was this one all has a like forty two ounce uh, bag. The other one has a thirty two. And this one has an extra nozzle to be able to switch it to switch it out. Um, clogging, didn't have any issues with the deck. I had like about two clogs while doing this, or three of them. But you just flip the little nozzle, spray it into the uh, can to get some of that paint through, switch it back, and you're ready to go. So, great item. I was looking into this originally when I was thinking of getting a uh, sprayer. I was thinking of getting a cordless because all my tools, as you will notice, are all DeWalt. I like DeWalt. There's still tools that I don't have that I would like. So, uh, <laughs> hey DeWalt, if you ever see this video, feel free to send me any of your new stuff. I would definitely use it in my collection. I would definitely do a review on it. And I'll side by side comparison if anything. But, as in the future. Um, definitely try and go green and go cordless with everything. So keep that in mind if you watch the videos, send me something good. Uh, but all kidding aside, uh, I used DeWalt. It had the, it's compatible with the DeWalt batteries. I was thinking of using buying that, but the cost comparison just didn't make sense. It was like $5.99 versus basically $2.60 for the corded version. I'll deal with the power cord getting it done um, works just fine so that's uh, one little tidbit on that item I'll leave the links in the description if you want to check out the products and get it yourself and test it yourself but that's pretty much what paint day was obviously after painting letting it dry it was just cleaning up taking the plastic back off and moving a few things in also I reattached my lights and the lights that I have in here are the solar lights. These are single packs and double packs, two packs. I got a two pack, I have one here and one on the other side. I also have one of these LED lights, similar version. They are a lot brighter than having a regular light bulb style here. Also, you notice the vent is covered. Uh, these are the register, Magnetic covers, so if you wanted to cover up your one of the vents in your room to focus the heat or air into different rooms, be stronger there. You can get those. Home Depot has a three pack, so I bought it and I bought a strip of uh, magnets. So magnets basically wrapped around the actual outside of the holes and then that just popped on to block off the airflow when I'm intending to use a heater and the AC in the portable AC that I have, which I will add a link also so you can check that out. For, I think it only cost me like about just over $400 for an all-in-one. So the human dehumidifier has the AC and also here. Can't beat that. So that in the corner. And yeah, that basically would have summed up paint day in the video. So if you like the video so far or you're interested in watching of my journey into woodworking and hopefully with the more subscriptions and the likes and uh, comments and notifications the channel will build any support will obviously turn back into this uh, shop which in turn better videos more videos the quality will slowly improve as I work out the kinks and figure out some good techniques that work so if you have any feel free to leave it in the comments Otherwise, it will be the next video coming out will be the workbench itself. So you've seen, you can check out the teaser to see what I'm talking about.
Man, that was a long video of me painting this place. Obviously, uh, as the footage was, you know, had just vanished, we didn't uh, upload. It became corrupt. I lost a lot of footage. Like I said, it was uh, would have been some, you know, YouTube gold when the uh, little hazmat suit kind of tore in the back as I was trying to uh, paint over half of the wall. So I guess you know, six, six and a, uh, six five is the max on that uh, two X size uh, hazmat. Anything more than that will definitely split the back of it if you're uh, painting over that like I am 6'6 and it just split it right in the back. But everything got painted, all right? So sit back and then I will see you in the next video.